Hello and welcome to CCP's first edition of uh, Midweek Catch-Up. We're just going to take a few moments to see what everyone's been up to and just to keep in contact and have a bit of fun, really. So I hope you've been having an okay week. Have you been dealing with isolation? Have you been uh, getting your exercise each day? I know Matt Beanie has. Here's a little uh, clip that he sent us of his run from last week. Where's that? Does anyone recognise where that is? Here's someone else who's been getting her daily exercise. Oh, fantastic, Tally. Great to see that the self-isolation hasn't been affecting your dress sense. Next up, we have a update from the Murphys. Hi everyone, a little update from the Murphys. We are on day 14 of our quarantine after um, we've had a few temperatures and coughs, but we are doing well. God has been kind to us. We are enjoying our time together as a family and we've been doing a little bit of this. Building Lego. We've been doing some of this. Making cookies. And we were doing... Doing muscles. Davy, your smile in that first shot is very special. Ah! And now we go over to our correspondent in the field, Debbie Snowball, and her assistant Ben. Good morning, everybody. I am Debbie Snowball. I'm reporting live for you this morning for CCP News. How are you coping with this latest situation, and what are you doing to stay positive? I mean, obviously, there's no one there. I'm totally self-isolating. Me and Deb have both been uh, uh, balancing our work and homeschooling. And um, so um, we've done some fun things. Today we were just playing a teddy bear's picnic in the garden. And uh, we've been doing lots of other uh, crazy things as well, like keep fit and things like that. And um, well, not that that's crazy, but you know. We've been having fun doing that kind of stuff. And spread the joy. This has been Debbie Snavel reporting for CCP News. Keep safe, party peace. Thanks, Debs and Ben. Fantastic. I thought we'd have a look uh, and see how all the homeschooling has been going this week. Here's a little roundup of what's been going on. Hey, Seth, what song are you studying at the moment? Um, I Feel Good by James Brown. Okay, give us a little um, taster. <laughs> We're doing PE with Joe Wicks and with the Burnses. Look, they're just there. Right, Mara, can you move forwards? Lily, can you move forwards? Ow! Are you going to get a million? Yes! Ow! Ah! Love Joe Wicks. Did you hear he's giving all his uh, profits to the NHS from those videos? It's very cool. Anyway, uh, we've all been watching stuff this week and listening to stuff. Uh, I thought we'd have a look, see what Paul Vincent has been listening to this week. I think one of the musicians that I go to again and again for inspiration is Curtis, Curtis Mayfield. And the song that's particularly on my mind at the moment is Keep On Keeping On. So that's the track I would recommend that people go and listen to, Keep On Keeping On. Yeah, we all have to keep on keeping on, that's for sure. And I just wanted to say that I know that times are tough um, and this is in no way, this video is in no way supposed to be like a showy offy Facebook thing. It's just a chance to cheer everyone up. And um, I know we've been finding it hard in our household as well at certain times. It's been a pretty, a real roller coaster of a, of a week. Um, so just a couple of encouragements for you. Um, as well 
I thought we'd share. I don't know if you've had a chance to go on our website and do some of the um, devotionals, but um, Gem and Susie did one about communion this week, which I really, um, really recommend that you have a look at. We remember God's presence and goodness to us through the act of communion, breaking bread and taking wine. And we want to do that today with you. So we're going to do that now. Um, we're actually going to be using crackers and juice. So um, we're just going to celebrate all that God has done for us, all that Jesus did for us when he died upon the cross. And Shannon Evans shared this with us this week. It's a fantastic verse. It says, I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. And that's John 14, 27. That's a great verse to keep in mind this week for sure. We've been meeting online in all sorts of uh, different groups this week at church on Sundays and midweek with community groups. And the eldership team have been uh, meeting as well, obviously online. They just wanted to say hello. Hello, hello. 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 Hello, hello. 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 Well, that's it from us at the CCP News. I hope you have a fantastic week, whether you're... Doing awesome. Or whether you're... We wish you a great time. And if you have a chance to just film a little clip, send it to me, and then I can include it on next week's news. Bye bye for now. <laughs>